nine tails and I've been on hiatus for a while I understand uh, you look at my channel now it's been dead for what months now but that's only because I work all fucking day work all day sleep work in the morning all the bullshit but today I wanted uh, I wanted to revamp of course I still need to do a whole bunch of other things but I've just been procrastinating my Saturday the one of the only days I get off so uh, I'm gonna be playing Final Fantasy the remake and just to be clear I beat the game already and I've already played it but it's been a while, I don't remember what I'm doing. I don't remember the bosses, how to beat them and shit. So I'm just gonna go re... Start up a new game and everything. And, uh, see how that goes. Got a dog in here. I'm by myself. And... To the revamp. The new... New Ninetales, I suppose. Oh shit. A little bit of a normal. Ah, I've always loved the Final Fantasy front. Well, realistically, I've loved the Final Fantasy 7 series. I grew up with uh, Crisis Core being the main thing. Oh shit, I can't hear anything. Alright, well, I guess it's just gonna be. I love this game, though. I love. I've always loved the art style, the story, all the type of shit for this stuff. It's beautiful. Oh, also, another thing. Normally, I play with my, my brother and a couple friends or whatever. Uh, part of this revamp. Mind you, it's always such a pain in the ass to get them to get games on with me. Either because half of them can't, you know, naturally get games at the moment. Uh, as often as I do. Or, you know, we just have very differences. We have very differences in what games we enjoy playing. Like, I'll play stuff like this and my brother's just not into it. My buddy's not into it. My brother's more of a first person shooter deal. It, it's a whole thing. And it's it's always such a pain in the ass to get them on, on places like Warzone again. Because, I mean, Warzone's just gone so fucking downhill. All the, all the hacks, all the fucking Vanguard shit. It's annoying. I hate it. I hate the fact that they did that. The merge was a terrible idea. If only... If they had stayed, maybe Black Ops and and Modern Warfare, it would have been we would have been solid. Sure, that we were still still hacking and everything, but I mean, the game is in a very sorry state right now. I I can't really enjoy it as much. And when we do, I mean, I'm not really recording. I'm just playing. We're just doing shit. It's because recently I got better at it too. Sucks. I still have another clip I want to show. Um, in Warzone, but it's like the old days. You can clearly tell I've been I've been holding out on it, but it's a nice clip. But yeah, no. Um. I'm wondering what type of attention this new format will bring. What type of people it'll bring. All that. Nothing much else. I mean... Maybe some people will enjoy the game. I I've never personally found a lot of people who would actually know what this stuff is about. But I'm sure like within the cyberverse and the internet and all that shit, a lot of people do recognize it. And, like I said, I mean, this is one of my favorite parts of the series. Of course, the whole knock, the, what was it, Final Fantasy XIII, all that was cool. I wasn't really into the ones before it, and I wasn't really into, like, the originals. I never really played the originals. Never got into it. 
all the the whole the strategy RPG based taking turns aspect was never really a thing for me. I never really enjoyed it. I, which is why I actually like the way this game came out. It was not so much turns; it was more, more action. But I, I love this game for it. It's, I think it's a, it's a very. It's it's a good revamp, but at the same time, there is still stuff that this game misses that the original had. That you know, some people may find may say it was better. The the originals were better. Uh, personally, like I said, I never played them. I wouldn't know, but I would agree that there were some aspects the old ones that this one doesn't have. I really love the animation style that this game really brought into. Animation style, everything, the movement. It all looks like the, the movies, Advent Children. Reminds me of Advent Children a lot. Get down here, Murph. Shit, I still watch that movie. All, all two hours of it, I, I got it. Alright, let's see what we're getting ourselves into here. I love, love this shit. Especially when I was a kid. Well, found the sprint. Who in the hell? Hands where I can see him. <clears throat> Actually, Crisis Core is what got me into it. Crisis Core, games like Kingdom Hearts, so with all the fantasy, the Final Fantasy characters. Cloud was always a fan favorite, but later on, uh, I started to appreciate Sephiroth a little bit more. Oh yeah, so I get distracted this. when I'm doing yeah, this shit. What he said. But yeah, no, I enjoyed uh, Crisis Core, uh, the Kingdom Hearts games. Damn, this You're thing. coming with us. Can't get surrounded. Nope. I enjoyed the the storyline of uh, what was his name, Zach Fair, that whole character. I thought that was really cool. Zach Fair and Geo Genesis. Uh, I feel like the gameplay uh, a little bit similar to this one actually, not not as fluent as this one, but the gameplay was very solid, very solid storyline. I never did finish it, but I tried my damnedest as a child, you know, and I don't, 
You don't exactly finish a lot of these games when you're a kid. Not not like Final Fantasy. And what was it? Uh, what's the game called? Dungeons and something. Not Dungeons and Dragons, but like uh, fucking something. Like that. Hold on. I don't know. I I enjoyed that game. I enjoyed a lot of the old 8-bit games, actually. Uh, a lot of the ones where you just a so just night swinging Is shit, killing off zombies, all He's that type of stuff. That was always fun, but I could never beat uh, him. What was his name again? Like I said, the only uh, games I ever got right. close to beating back in the day anymore. were stuff like Kingdom Hearts. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Looks are what people notice first. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? <laughs> Which? Uh, I'm gonna try to do this, this whole thing as a series. I'm not too sure though. It depends on, I guess, the feedback. Um, you better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. Other than that, you know, I mean, I meant to play this game, uh, originally, on this channel. This one, and then I meant to play Ghost of Tsushima, which I might still play. I never did beat, I, I didn't beat Ghost of Tsushima, but I got pretty far. And then I just kind of fell off of it for a while, but I, I wouldn't mind doing it for this as well. As either, like, a side thing, or, uh... <clears throat> or a continuation afterwards. But I don't know. This was all of this. Oh shit! What's your first? Bitch. Oh, I've always loved combat. This game's combat is so Let's fucking go. beautiful. I love games like this with the hack and slash. Though, I think... I don't know if a lot of fans really like that, that this game became like that. The hack and slash. But, I mean, I feel like it still keeps a lot of its... It's good quality. Just go back and look at shit. I think it's awesome. I know I have. I guess I'll figure it out later. The summons. I have. See, I got this game when it first came out. I like pre the whole pre-order deal. So I unlocked all the summonable material, and then like a couple of other stuff, I think. But essentially. I got everything from the day of. And uh, after beating this, I as well plan to get anything else that came after it. There are continuations of this game. I, I, w I really wanted to keep up with the whole series. I'm gonna collect everything I can. Because I know later on... Um, I'm gonna need... Well, no, I, I, I might... 